All right. So, uh, uh, we're, 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 we're going to be doing that survey. Where we get to give our lovely feedback. So, nether woke, not really smart. <laughs> Says, uh, welcome. Thank you for ta taking part in this Mortal Kombat 1 survey. D did you just assume my participation? I haven't started yet. This survey will take you 10 minutes. If it goes to 11, I want a cookie. And we will be asking about your experience with Invasion Season 2 Blood Moon. Your open and honest feedback is incredibly valuable. Oh yeah, here we go. And will help us improve your game experience in future patches and content releases. This is what you do. Come here, this is what you do. You cut that shit out in the menu where it says invasions, you throw it in the trash. Problem solved. Let's go. Let's do it! Mortal Kombat 1. So, from 1992, was it? Have you played Invasion Season 1 The Spectre? No, I wasn't in that one. This was the previous season which lasted from September 14th till November 9th, yes? So you've already lied. You've already lied, right? They're, they're, didn't they? Didn't they just say they were only asking about season two? Have you stopped playing Invasion season one, The Spectre, before the end date of November ninth? Yes. Is it ten minutes yet? Uh, which of the following are the reasons you have stopped playing Invasion season one, The Spectre? Uh, reasons outside the game. Too busy with school. No. Takes too long to unlock everything that I want. Uh, yes. Well, I'm ticking that anyway, because they need to know that. Uh, I have unlocked all the skins and rewards that I wanted this season. Uh, yeah, the Ronald McDonald skins. I felt lost and didn't know how to progress further. What do you mean you felt lost? Don't you mean lost? I felt lost. Was there a tra- I mean, the, the entire game mode is a tragedy, don't get me wrong. Uh, I- Uh, there was a lack of story narrative invasions, definitely. When you got the challenge tower from MK9, literally every level kind of gets you in the mood. I got stuck because an encounter or more was too hard for me. Well, not- not in Season 1, but in Season 2 there were. I have 100% completed all the maps, that's true. I beat the final boss of the season, yes. The gameplay is too different from regular Mortal Kombat gameplay. No, it's just boring. Invasions felt too repetitive. Yes. I dislike the overall experience of invasions. Yes. Other. I would rather tie my tongue. Hang on. To the tailpipe of your car and be driven naked across a field of broken glass. Next. In Mortal Kombat 1, have you played Invasion Season 2, Blood Moon? Yes. Next. I have a feeling it's going longer than 10 minutes. Which of the following console games have you played? Oh. So let's just include PC here, right? Yes, 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 yes. Other fighting games. Uh, fighting Angel? It's got boobies. Right. Uh, what? Let me let me check my list. Cause I know I know it's asking for console stuff, but I don't give a shit <laughs> about console games. Cause I play on PC, right? Playing on PC. Just checking out what else I've I've played. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, we're throwing uh, JoJo, Bizarre, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the Adventure, Jump Force. I'm just I'm just grabbing random names here, it's all good bro. Right. Uh, Killer Instinct. EX Fighting Layer. 
Uh, what else can I do? Right. Oh, yeah. The Great Mortal Kombat 9. 2011. Which of the following Mortal Kombat games have you played more than 10 hours in? Yeah, I think I did. Which types of game modes do you typically play in fighting games? I like to play with myself. Mostly PvP modes, offline, online versus tournaments. Mostly PvE modes, story, arcade challenges and trials, and around the same amount of PvE and PvP. Notice how they can't tick more than one. It's either one or the other, right? All the esports people go, oh yes, I just want a whole PvP mode. I just want the whole game to be PvP, right? I would, I would argue, right, I'd probably just say the middle one, right? Because, like, like PvE, like PvP doesn't come down to a whole bunch. It's basically casual, ranked, king of the hill. That's it. Okay? Unless you're going to go down the road of Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, where you've got literally like a full guys, you know, Mario Party mode. Uh, you know, there's no reason, you know, to have that, to have more. Okay? So, and it's interesting actually, because like looking at this further, because it's asking what do you typically play in fighting games, right? I don't know, man. I want to tick both of them. Can't I tick both? If I flick between them fast enough, it'll look like I've got both. There we go. Right. Because I like playing online. I do like playing online. But I like also the, all the offline stuff. Because before we could play games online, we had to have offline stuff. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at that, right? Because they're gonna put PvP in a fighting game regardless. Okay. How would you rate your overall experience with invasions? Very poor. Optional. What would you like about invasions? Blood to uh. I liked. Never playing it again. Optional, number 10. What do you dislike or feel could be improved about Invasion Season 2, Blood Moon, and why? Uh, the, hang on. The, die, <laughs> die. The entire Invasions mode feels like a cheap ass mobile game. Please, for the love of all that is holy, bring us a real conquest mode. <clears throat> Number 11. Based on what you've played so far, how interested are you? Underscored and in bold. Uh, are you to continue playing Invasion Season 2 Blood Moon? Not at all interested. There you go. You got it. Gonna be longer than 10 minutes, isn't it? Uh, was there ever a time playing this game where you felt confused? No, unless being permanently bored is considered confusion. How would you rate the challenge of Invasion Season 2 Blood Moon? Uh, well, the, it was definitely harder than the first. Somewhat too easy. If it was the first season, it'd be much too easy. But again, it's a shit mode, right? It's a, it's a boring ass mode. That's the challenge. If, if the if it if it was on a scale of how bored you were, in in as far as like the challenge of it, it'd be much too hard. Did you ever feel like you're unable to progress in Invasion Season Two Blood Moon? Uh, no. Optional. When did you feel like you were unable to progress in Invasions Moon? Um, when my hot wife boo. 
was waiting by the door, pretend, pretending to be Nitara. Are you still playing Invasions? No! Which of the following are the reasons you'll stop playing? I beat the final boss of the season. Done. I dislike the overall experience. Done. Invasions. Yes. I felt lost and didn't know how to progress further. So they're asking the same question again. Uh, no, it's not that. I experienced a lot of technical stability issues. Yeah, 30 frames, bitch. There was a lack of story and narrative. Yes. The gameplay is too different. Yes. I got stuck because of an encounter. And, I, and I'm saying it's too different because... Like, I know about, like, obviously, you know, like, random combat that came in. Random combat's always been around for a really long time, but it was really awesome in MK9. Uh, and then we got, like, the, 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 um, you know, the living towers in MK10, Towers of Time in MK11. So I know what they're doing. They're applying, like, modifiers to a tower, and that's fine. That'd be a lot better than invasions. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it unpicked. I don't know. Like, it, it is, it is different. I, it's just a shit mode. I got stuck because an encounter or more was too hard for me. Nah, takes too long to unlock everything. Yes. Reasons outside of the game. No. I've unlocked all the skins and rewards I wanted that season. Well, that's true. I completed all the maths. Yes. Other. <clears throat> if boredom was a challenge this game delivers this this mode delivers did I say that right? I don't give a shit right here we go how would you rate your overall experience with the following maps and invasions? Uh, how would you rate your overall experience with the following gameplay features and invasions? Please comment on any of the above. Dislikes, likes, confusion points. Confusion points. Uh, it's all garbage. You cannot polish a turd. How do you rate your overall experience with the following types? I feel like I'm, you know, applying for a job. How would you rate your overall experience with the following types of encounters and invasions? Uh, very poor, very poor. Uh, yeah, yeah, fuck your shit, all of it, right? Please comment any of the above types of encounters, right? Rehire John Tobias. Which stats allocation mode did you mo use the most in invasions in Blood Moon? Uh, in season one, I like obviously you put it in all in all to uh, what was it, strength or whatever it was, so you're smacking the crap out of everything in like one hit. But ultimately, uh, it's just left on auto. How do you feel about the rate at which you earn cosmetics and currencies? Much too slow. Hell yeah. Um, every time I punch, I want a new something. How often do you do the following in invasions? How often do you do the following? Use talismans? Never, never. Change fighters? Uh, that's only to level. Right. How interested are you in placing season three? Not at all interested. I'll do it. I'm just not interested in it. Right. And that's because it's MK. Right. Plus, it also means that I can review it. Any other thoughts you'd like to share? The development team regarding invasions mode. This is the most disgusting and rubbish game mode I have ever seen in a fighting game. Is this a joke? Do we need to really point out the awesome game modes previous MK games had prior to the NRS infection? since MK10? 
Now, on a scale of one to, I'm getting a Christmas card from these people this year, where do I sit? Thank you. We really appreciate you, no you don't, taking the time to fill out this survey. Your feedback has been given directly to our game developers. <laughs> well, you know, if you're not having fun, what's going on? Anyway, catch you next time.